YouTube, Briarville Rick out on a gorgeous Saturday morning at a place called the Watertown Mile Long Yard Sale. And this is a yard sale that starts, if you can see it, way out yonder at the interstate and will go like this, some deer heads, great Tennessee yard sale. We'll go all the way 10 miles south, whoop, there I am, to the town called Watertown. So anyway, I'm out here with Mrs. Briarville and my son Keith. We're out looking around, seeing all kinds of fun stuff. Actually, I'm looking for pipes, a little bit of housekeeping. I've got my billiard. You know I go for the good stuff, and that's my Canadian. And uh, smoking uh, some Briarville Select and just enjoying the day. So let's have a look at some of the fun stuff that we're going to see out here at the Watertown mile-long yard sale. Well, look at this. Here's some potential Christmas presents for Mrs. Briarville. I've been meaning to get her a new double-sided uh, double axe and handle. Her birthday's coming up in May. Might be a good place to shop. Ten miles of this, and still no pipes. Not yet. But we don't give up easy. We keep on looking. Let's take a look, see what's here. Oh, there's some pipes. I believe I found some. Something. Oh, yes. Look at this. We've got a couple of cobs. There's a Dr. Grabo. Broke stem needs me, doesn't it? And what's this? Some sort of painted Venturi. Oh, but we got 10 miles, 10 miles to look for all kinds of fun stuff. And pardon me while I make some wheels and deals. I just noticed that this pipe right here is made of quartz. I have never seen a quartz pipe. They're asking $12 for it. I don't believe I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to probably pass on that. that but it just goes to down. show you what pipes and what materials the pipes have been made out of over the years. Well, we've come down the road some. It's about five miles into the into the 10 mile yard uh, long yard sale, and uh, we're looking, finding some stuff here and there. But uh, one thing you got to do when you're at these places, you kind of things kind of get grouped together. So I went and I found a whole bunch of little lighters, and then I said, "Hmm, well, that's close. Lighters. There's some nice ones there." And then I kept going down, slowly but surely, and then look what happened. You hit the mother load right here. There's a, there is a whole group of pipes. I can't tell if you can see those or not. There they are, the way I'm holding the camera. But we'll have a look at some of these and see if any are worth picking up and restoring. So out of there and we'll start with this which is this looks like a falcon but uh, upon closer inspection it's a falcon knockoff and it's actually a Dr. Grabo which I don't uh, I don't uh, own any Grabos or a falcon I'm going to hold off on this until I can find the actual real thing. What else do we have here? Here's a nice bulldog. It looks like about a... Oh, I don't know. I can tell if it's a... Uh, it's old, I can tell that. We're looking... Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can find a better... That's a Hardcastle Bulldog. It's got a, a square uh, or a diamond shank and the diamond bit on it. And uh, it 
this looks like it's probably around uh, 1970s version. Maybe, certainly in the 70s, it's old. We might negotiate for this one, see if we can uh, see if we can cut a deal on this little bulldog. These these uh, these sell pretty good once they're cleaned up. We might just see that one out there. Let's see what else they have. Yeah, zooming in, what do we see here? Is that Falcon? Here's something that's interesting. This is a pharaoh. I guess, well, that's, I think that means made in or something. And this is Italy. This is an Italian pipe. Look at it closely, you guys. When you guys are out there looking for your own stuff, this peeling that you're seeing on the side, if you focus on there, that's actually varnish. And you need to take that varnish off with acetone before you take the rest of it down, if you're going to take it down to wood and then re-dye it. This, this is an old pipe. You can tell that it's been thoroughly smoked. It has an acrylic bit that doesn't fit too well on it. You might... Uh, this might be a good one just for a before and after. So anyway, when you're out looking for your stuff, this is what to look for. I don't own a clay. I want to see if I can cut a deal with the gentleman that uh, worked for a couple of these pipes here. Definitely that clay. Anyway, happy hunting, you guys. Now, I'm telling you, you can find anything at a Tennessee yard sale. Oh. Even dirt. And check it out, they'll deliver. Well, we made it. Here we are, the town that the uh, yard sale was named after, Watertown, and it is the mother load of yard sales. Well, there's Mrs. Briarville. Turned the corner, or turned the controls over to uh, her to drive, so we can get some video. Say hi, Mrs. Briarville. Hi there. So we can get some video of the Tennessee countryside and just finish out this uh, finish out this little video. Well, we made it back from Watertown, back here safe and sound in Briarville. It's, a, it's still a pretty day out, and uh, let's just kind of have a uh, little uh, tour of the grounds. Well, let's start with a look at the landscaping headquarters there. As we walk, as we walk around, of course, uh, we're kind of out in the woods, uh, sort of out in the woods, where we're... Uh, we have a uh, natural gas uh, bottle instead of uh, instead of uh, piped in gas, that fancy stuff you get in the big city. And we've got a few trees. And let's uh, let's kind of walk out this way towards the uh, the creek. We've got uh, here at Briarville our very own uh, full-time running water creek that. Uh, the beavers use actually the beavers actually <laughs> ate up a few of our trees before we uh, put some uh, some mesh around them to quit them from doing that. But it's uh, it's gorgeous out here. We're blessed, and uh, there's a there's a look at our our uh, our creek. There's the uh, the bridge to uh, what we uh, deem as the South Forty Meadow, 
and uh, it goes out and we keep it natural. We have a fire pit out there and uh, the wildflowers come up at the various times of the spring and summer and, and we're, uh, we like it out there. And as we get a pan across and get another look at the, uh, at the creek going, uh, this is actually would be headed towards the uh, northwest a little bit. Here's the front and our porch and like I said we're uh, we're blessed out here we know it okay back in the shop let's uh let's have a look at some of the goodies we bought actually we were very frugal when we were out didn't uh, buy a whole lot worked off a little bit of housekeeping uh smoking my Eric Nording with uh once again Briarville Select I think I've uh, finished tweaking that it is a very tasty uh combination uh that a uh uh, someone that would be a fan of Frog Morton would enjoy, and uh, like I said, once uh, once I get the uh, bulk I need, I'll uh, I'll be sending it sending samples out to those of you guys who put uh, or send their pipes in, so you can test it out, and it will be sold exclusively at uh, uh, Big Star Cigar here in Mount Juliet, our pals over there. Okay, well, what did we pick up? Like I said, uh, actually, what I, I did want to say, I passed on the pipes that I saw. Uh, a couple of different reasons. Uh, one, the guy didn't really want to deal too much, and that's fine. I mean, that's his prerogative. And two, I'm covered up in work, so I didn't really, you know, want to pick up a bunch of stuff that's just going to sit around a while before I could get to it. There he is. Little statue, little bust, little little guy that's gonna set up there on the wall. Now mama, Mrs. Briarville, wants to put this in our boat because he looks like a captain. But uh, I think he's gonna find a home here in Briarville on the wall somewhere. And we, the shop, believe it or not, my very own man cave did not have a coffee pot. So I found a coffee pot. I spent a grand total of two dollars on that coffee pot. What a deal. And then also I found whoops. These four coffee mugs right next to the pot actually. And look at what they say. Not quite uh, Briarville, but it's Tobaccoville. You know, very cool house on there. So, I knew I had to get that. So, what a steal. I broke the bank, guys. You know, it's harder than it looks making a video with the iPhone, especially when you can't see what you're doing. But I broke the bank. Spent five dollars. <laughs> kind of spilled some coffee while pouring it. Okay. It's Rick. Happy camper. Checking in from Briarville, the repair and restoration shop at Joe Case Pipe. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got something that needs to be refurbished, reacquaint yourself with an old friend, send it in. We'll get her done.